everyone. Welcome to our live. What day is today, Dustin? Thursday. Thursday. This Thursday, we are still going to do um, underwater theme this week. This week is what I want to um, go after is our underwater fantasy so we can get it out the way. We are still. And um, I have a few snapshots. I really like these. So we're doing mermaid again today. Um, last week, no, just a few days ago, we doing mermaid pattern, uh, the scale pattern. So today we're gonna draw mermaid portrait, mermaid tail, and uh, a couple of fast money designs. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let me show you another one. Everyone, hi, hello, Hatia. Hello, great Nellis. Okay. Oh, that's Michelle. That's Michelle. Um, okay, so I'm gonna post my website first. Good morning, Karen. Okay. So, our product is at www.tinovo.shop and then I will include Kyla information. So, Kyla phone number is 417-772-4020. You can call her for any shopping or shipping question. Hello, Marne. Hello. That's the Venezuela. Hello. Yes. So, that's what we're going for today, but the color theme going to be brighter. Um, I like his face, so I may do that face. You know, all your stuff came up just now, but it's not pinned on the thing. Or maybe. Oh, I, oh, I, yeah, I, I didn't pin it. I should have pinned it. Okay. Let me connect myself. Let me be more technical. Oh. Hello, Argentina, Susanna. Okay. Hi, Chiki. Hola. Hi, love in 313. Hi, Reza from Brazil. Hola, Pericos. <coughs> okay. Okay. So I would invite myself. Yes, we, we, we are in. Today we're painting mermaid. Like, uh, a few days ago, we doing like a mermaid print, like a scale fantasy, kind of like, um, not like a theme, but like a mermaid vibe, but the design are very structured. Today, the design are more fluid, more abstract. So let me turn the camera around. Good morning, Anxious Nail Tech. Hello, Anxious Nail Techs. Okay. Today, I am doing a uh, coffin, usually mermaid and scaly, all that theme. I'm using stiletto, but today I want to try coffin just to see what it looks like. Okay, so these are our product that we're going to use today. So we're going to use texture effect gel today, okay, for most of the uh, embossed mermaid <coughs> and just a little bit of uh, rose gold pixie gel. Let me show you the new bottles. So we have rose gold pixie gels, okay. This is not necessary, it's just, just an addition. But this is uh this, this will be helpful to have. Extra. Mm -hmm. Now this is pink unicorn chrome. Okay, you can use any colors. Hi nail lashes by Julia. Oh, you've been uh busy surgery. Oh, I'll texture got busy because she has. Yes. Uh, the textures 
um, this texture gel right here, the model is different from the texture effect. Just because I want people to spot it out easy. You know, sometimes when you have two bottles that look the same on the shelf and you have too much stuff, you, you have to like read the label. So I have bottle like this, so you can just know that this is clear pictures. It's easy for you. Um, um, this is sticky. I don't want sticky. I want shadows. Hello, dumbbells. I'm using shadow. Okay. okay. This is a black gel polish. Nothing special. Shand it and matted. it. Okay, this is a top coat. Um, you need a cell level matte today for pigment. Okay, so I'm using matted in the cell level and you can apply pigment on it. It adheres to pigments. And then I'm gonna use chrome base coat for chrome. All right, I already have the list right down right here. This is how you navigate the website. I will show you that at the end too. But clear texture is in gel effect category. It's in 3D, pixie gel rose, gel effects, pixie gel. So if you want to take a screenshot of it now, you can. Oh, hi, Katie. Oh, you work at Hooters? Yes, I'm in Springfield. No, used oh, used to work at Hooters. Yeah, I'm in Springfield. And I bet you know Kenzie and, and Hannah and all of them. <laughs> Maybe Tara, if you're not new. Well, it sounds like she worked up a long time. Ago. Okay. All right. She know about me, so she probably know Kenzie and them too. All right. So, oh, the brushes that I use. See, now, now I prepare. Now you can see. Now I more prepare. 10 millimeter and 20. I use both today. Okay. Oh, brushes are already in too, you guys. I need to wipe this a little bit. This is a filler and fish towel. I don't remember using this today. I remember. I don't think I use that today. Okay. And then I'm using uh, oval at some point today. But the most important is the liner brush and the pigment brush. Okay. So brush today are easy because there are only two brush pigment brush and liner brush uh, I don't think that I would use an oval too that would back <laughs> just two brush and I have flashlight handy with me you can have it um, just any flashlight any flash key you want see I'm all, all ready today oh pigment I have in three pigment today so this is super pigment I have purple Blue and green. Let me show you the package. We are all prepared. Uh -huh. We are prepared today. How, oh, how great it is. See, now there is super pigment box. <laughs> I love being prepared like this. Uh, I I to do it every day. When, when you do it every day, it's just so normal, you know. But I still have to remember that it's still a show. You guys haven't even exposed to the design yet. You know, most of the design I know, so I'm like, ah, oh, just another day, let's do some design. But I forgot okay. that you knew to the design, so I need to, like, prepare the like this all nice and prepare. Okay. But I got the right size, so you can't let it down. Oh, my God, pressure on. Oh, and are you a uh, top gel cream nude, too? Good morning, Dale. Today's different. I'm doing the easy finger first. Just to tease you a little bit, you know, just for you to see the, 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 the beauty right away. And then I can just ease in with all the, you know, usually I do the face first. Mm -mm. I'm doing the easy one first. Mm -hmm. So top gel's nude. Um, um, at some point, can we write down what the name of the now set is on the list of stuff they need yes 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 um you guys have to think about a name for me so i will write at the at the end but today i leave the name to you i really need help with names i need help with names i am so bad with names now because i have so much design i'm totally out of names so you guys gotta help me on that so at the so, so as further that I go, you guys gonna see the set reveal 
Lynn itself. So then you can help me with the name. So is this why one of our cat's name is Kitten? Yeah, yeah, yeah one of our cat with like out of name, which is like, oh, let's name you Kitten. And they grew up and that doesn't fit. <laughs> okay. See there? Hi, Destin. Um, I'm gonna do one more code and the reason why I do one more code because this is a clear nail okay if you do on your client nails then I wouldn't do two coats I will do just one but if you press on artists and you give a clear tip then go ahead and do two but on on um natural nail I don't want to do two coat because I don't want to it to look like fake. I want to look like natural. Okay. Here. So another code on this one. Been watching every day this week. I'm currently doing my now while I'm watching. Oh, great. Yay. It's good going every day. Mm -hmm. I just like to hang out. You know what? I, I am back to doing live every day because two days, it, uh, two times a day, and then every other day, it's it's a little weird. We did it and we learned. Yeah, I, I like to hang out every day because it's fun. Okay, so now you have to know that I'm going to use pigment on, and this is pigment block. Pigment don't stick on this. Okay. Hi, no addiction. <laughs> okay, so remember this. It's pigment block. See, pigment will not stick on this gel. So I'm going to make a tips. And I'm using pigment bay. See, I forgot one already. Pigment bays. Actually, I'm going to dump it on the palette. Okay, now I'm using my, uh, let's use a 20 millimeter for this. I'm using 20 millimeters. Uh, we will be doing evening lives at some point. Yes. We'll have a day we double up. Yeah, like a Sunday. It's the missing you that, that he has trouble with. Yeah. And obviously, he does a lot better whenever he wakes up before I do. Oh my God, I have so much done. Uh, why won't it stick? The nude is a no white top coat, right? Mm hmm. Thank you, Dustin. Okay, now fill it in. So, my dimension on this is two thirds. From here to here is equal to two thirds from here to here. Okay, so that's two thirds. And here, uh, a little bit past metal. This is metal. This end, a little past the metal. I try to remember the dimension for the pinky. Even though the pinky, I should do a little higher just because it's a short, short of nail. Using my Y and apply. Just straight down. You already use a liner brush to take care of your fringe. So now you should apply it straight down. Be careful near, near the side wall. Okay. Uh, Minerva Castillo says it's been a long time we miss you. Oh, I uh, I start to oh man and and the um. The, the two camera like I miss it so much, but now we have all our audience in two pages. So chrome sticks to no white top coat, but pigment doesn't? No, nope, pigment doesn't. You're such an inspiration. We don't want you to be able to get on. Thank you. As we all do. Okay. I love it too. It's fun for me. Mm 
Okay, now again taking pigment base and from top to bottom. And you know, on your client nails, if right here you're afraid of sticking on the skin, then just apply close to it. Okay. And then you can go in with a brush so it doesn't stick in on the side skin, you know, the side wall. Do it while it's still wet, so it's cell level. What See if you're afraid of sticking on the skin doing this. Go ahead. What would mica powder stick to? Um, it will stick to pigment base. It's considered a pigment. I use mica to mix a lot. Uh, sorry, I haven't demonstrated the mixing mica. <coughs> so many things. Because I, I don't have the clear spider gel yet. Okay, now I am going to do an upside down. What would my dark powder stick to or I already answer that? Oh, all ladders this New York. I've seen people use matte top coat for pigment powders. Do you recommend? Yes. Mm -hmm. Matte top coat also adhere to pigment. Mine, I cured it for eight seconds. Put pigment on and then uh, cure the rest. Uh, I would do that today. When, when using matte, they don't want to use a full cure though. Right. If a full cure, it would still stick on. It's just not, it's just not really good sticking on all right now i have to rise this into pigment base see I, I forgot one already pigment base and then super pigment lord i forgot two so that in color and in pigment and then pigment base in gel effect. And it's in liquid gel. Okay. Do you sell black pigment powder? Not yet. Soon. Not yet. Soon. It's shipping now this week. Finally. Okay, now. And the design is mermaid. Mm-hmm. Pigment brush <coughs> is what I'm going to use today. Pigment brush. Okay. And now, I pull this out. <coughs> you can see. Okay. So, this, I'm putting three pigment right here. And then this is one paper towel that I folded. Okay, and then I'm going to clean my brush. And then I'm going to mix a blue and a purple together. This is so organized. I'm loving this. Okay, a little more purples. What is it? Blank brand of glitter polish you use in the videos. They're stunning. Thank you. Um, are you my brand? I have several. I have spark gels. I have uh, glam gel. Uh, if you remind me what video, I can pinpoint what glitter do I use. Okay. What was the white thing this did? The white is pigment base. Pigment base. Mm -hmm. This is pigment base. So now I am going to dust pigment on. So I have blue, wipe this up just a little. Make sure it's not too dusty. See, if, if you don't make sure that it's not dusty, then all the dust, it will shoot down here when you uh, stroke it. So you have to make sure that you knock away all the dust. Just lightly. Okay. Uh, he has clear spider on the way. Oh, oh, 
Yeah, then you said you actually. Uh, <sighs> you guys, you guys listen to my every word. Oh my <laughs> lord, that's awful, you guys. Uh, from here on out, we please like to ask that you only listen to half. Just of listen one. to half of my word, not every word. <laughs> oh, I just slipped in that. Yeah. Lord, mm -hmm. I hate it. I'm I'm very good on the texture gel because I did not reveal it. I did not reveal the clear texture gel until the end. So now at least, at least when I show it, people are not gonna. At, at least when I show it, it's not like when I first get it because I get texture gel for like a week before I even show it. But now they kind of keep asking about this spider gel. Oh my lord. Okay. So very lightly. Now, if your brush is too heavy, then you need to take this brush and you need to feather it on a paper towel a few times so it's lighter for you. Muy fina capa. Muy fina capa. All right. Now, I am going to dust up the dust. See this brush? Cleansing it off. Now come to my blue. So I gonna have a little blue right here, distribute it out, smudge it into the paper towel. So it's this whole the pigment like makeup. Okay, it's whole the pigment like makeup. So now see this is full of pigment. I don't wanna slap it on immediately. I wanna make sure that. I knock off all the dust first. Okay, so my brush doesn't have a bunch of dirt that will be shoot out of it. Now blend in from the purple all the way down. See that? See that? Now if it getting heavy, remember? Just a few times before you keep going. Okay. See how beautiful, flawless. It's not just from the stroking of the brush, but it's it's from the way you use it too. See that? Does it on the head just a little bit? But remember, you don't want any dust. How can I get better control of my pigment powder? That is based on what you use on the bottom. Okay, that's the code that you base on the bottom. If you map, you have to know the proper timing, which mine is a second. Each map is different. So not guarantee on other map. Uh, they have, all have different timing. And then that and the brush also play a big role. Mine I have been improved since the very first day. It was different from now. Now it's more fluffy, more softer to the touch. And the way you distribute it, you know, it, as I say, if you if you dust it on and you slap this on, what happens is all the dust in here is going to shoot up. going to make it super messy for you. So you have to know how to release your pigment on here. Yeah. This, is where, mm -hmm, this is where you clean and release it, see? And you can take it off, throw it away, put a new one on. This one, you, you, you don't replace often because this is your palette. And Several combinations. Very light hand, very light stroke. Yes, and usually people stroke, you know, they, they start from here and they, they dive down and then they stop and they run a little bit and they stop. They dive down and they stop. So they have all this harsh line right here. What I do is I dive down and then I slide back up. See that? Dive down and then back up. So brush in motion like this. See that? That is a correct motion. This is not a correct motion. See? That you're going down and they run, down and run. That's not a correct motion. This is correct motion. You right? move so quick, I, I know that it's, it's, it seems like you're hard and fast, but they just have to know that you're very precise yes. and light. Yes, so when I move, I move like this, and people, be, so it's harder to, 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 to spot it, that's why it's plain. This is slow motion. This is how I move. From here, I go down like a bird, you know, like, and dive down and then like fly back up. See that? So there is a gradient. When people do pigment, they do it like this. From here, they go 
down, down, and and they run a little bit, and then they lift. That that's not a a, a fade. That's more like a you know, it's not not gonna be pretty. Your pigment not gonna be pretty if you do this, if you do this like this. So you have to do it like that. See, when you go down, you have to go up. Remember that. Now, see how flawless. Now remember, cleanse again. <clears throat> see, today I'm going extra slow, just for you. Oh. Extra slow. Now green, okay. Cause I, I I do this for a long time. So sometimes, sometimes I think I think man, this is so slow. I gotta speed it up a little bit, you know. And I just forgot. I keep forgetting. So today we are all prepared. Everything is prepared. And mm hmm. Okay, now green again. Hello, India. Hi, India. Hello. And also remember, honey, your nails just lots of practice. Yes. Just a little. I'm gonna leave some white right here. Just a little bit. See that? Look close. See that? See the perfection. Okay. That is made on several steps, not just from the stroking. Remember, you always have to pick it up like this and then dust off the pigment. Stroke it lightly through the pattern that I say. And if it's too heavy, you remove or release the pigment in the paper towel and then come back in and that at that point your brush will be much lighter than before on pigment now are we ready for chroming chroming yes yes yeah, so smooth all right so we take this yes he sells pigments Yes, yes, I did. Oh, oh, I forgot. For now, I'm not done with it yet, so I'm leaving this right here and slide it somewhere. <laughs> okay, now taking a fluffy, dust off all the excess, dust off all the excess. Now, before I chrome this, so what I want to do is I want to chrome the color only, not the background. So I am using chrome base. And then sheer pigment base for 60 seconds? Mm -hmm. I did. I did kill it for 60 seconds before I put pigment on. Now I'm using chrome base. And if you want, you can just put it all over because what up here is that here's into chrome anyway. So you don't need to dust that spot. You just need to apply it all over. And when you apply chrome, you just have to avoid the top, which is easy because that's just the tips. You just apply chrome on the tip. It's not like a detail where you have to dot the design. So in this, you just have to be careful. What size tips do you normally use for these demos? Here this XXL. XXL. Mm -hmm. That's why I sell XXXL 3X. And what if you don't have chrome base? Chrome base, you get a uh, no white top coat. Mm -hmm. No white top coat. Mm -hmm. The softer the top coat is, I mean, it's not a hot gel, the more friendlier it will be with the chrome. You should do a full, mm -hmm. But you have to do full care. There is a trick out there where you take top coat, you only care for 10 seconds, you look on chrome. Don't do that because then it's not shiny. Okay, so usually what I do to avoid the nude is that I put shine coat on, I buff everything so that everything can be chrome free. And then I apply the top coat on just the tip and here. So when I apply chrome, the chrome only stick on the tip 
it did not stick on the body because I buffed it already. That I do with design. However, with this, the chrome, it's just a tip. So when I'm rip chrome, I'm just going to avoid the top. So that way easier for me. That would save me some extra step. Now, if, if what I need to chrome is detail instead of just a tip, then I need some tricks. Some tricks. Mm -hmm. But now I don't really need tricks because I can avoid uh, the nail bag. That's easy enough. Care this. See now when I apply um unicorn chrome on. So this is a pink that I use. It's pink unicorn chrome. Now using the old bottles. So I am gonna chrome this and avoid nail bed. <laughs> like I want to make sure there's one, one more. Yeah, yeah. See, you just avoid the nail bag. That's it. That's easy enough. Don't need trick when you can just skip it. Well, most of us grew up that tricks are for kids. Right? Save me an extra code. Study all the rule. Now you can choose when to skip it and when not to. When you need it and when you skip it. Mm -hmm. Not break them, but sometimes you don't need your golden rule. Your golden rule is there to 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 save you when you are in a bind, when you're designing. But you study it, you know it, so you can choose to skip it anytime you deem that it's unnecessary. You can skip. That is how it's go. See, it's a different. That's why you unicorn chrome because on unicorn chrome, it's chrome the surface, but the color you still can see. See that exact colors. It doesn't change the colors. It just add chrome on top of it. So that's what I'm gonna do with these nails. Make it like seashell. So, the first uh, tips, and you have to do pigments, uh, three color pigments. So, with just that, I would charge uh, about $10 nails, $10 per nails. Now I add chrome in, so they're going to be a little extra. Um, I did not spend much energy applying this chrome, so I'll say five extra dollars for fingers. Well, if they look like they have a lot of money, should you act like you're struggling? Mm, a little bit, yeah. Right here. Yeah, like, oh. Oh, God, this is so, it's so difficult. It's, your nails are so long. Oh. Turn on the heat so you can have sweat dripping off your forehead. <laughs> right, right, right. So the chrome stick to no white, but pigment doesn't yet. Because uh, lastly, chrome is different from pigment. Um, chrome, it needs a no white surface for it to adhere on. But pigment, it, it don't. It, it don't need a, a, a no wipe surface. It need a porous surface or a surface that are sticky but not wet, just dry stickiness. Pigment will adhere to it. But on a slick surface, pigment doesn't stick. It, it cannot hold pigment. Yeah, you said $5 nail. Just as long as surface is like your skin because pigment is like makeup. Chrome is different though. <coughs> Chrome is newer than pigment. It's different. Okay, so now I have this. I need to math this. So I am going to use matte it and apply all over the nail from top to bottom, all over. That will be your final coat before you do emboss. So matte it. So at, at this point, it's $15 a nail. You have 10 nail, 150 150 for a set like this with uh, crystals. Okay, that's 150 You can drop more, you can drop less. 
Okay, now mat it. Take it out. Oh boy, anxious health techs starting to get busy in life again. Uh oh, that's good. I don't know. This she really does great on answering questions. Last time she did this, she disappeared for like two whole weeks. <laughs> that was so long. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, anxious health tech. We'll see you later. Okay, now. Uh, he said 10 per nail for the color, and then I think five for the chrome. Five for the chrome. Easy. Yeah, easy. You can drop three or five dollar. It's up to you. Just remember the number that you add on, you multiply by 10. So, I mean, three, that's 30 extra dollars. You can even add a dollar for each finger. If you want, then that's 10 bucks because you just drop on chrome. It's nothing, nothing hard about it. So, you can drop them a little less. But remember, you time 10, so it doesn't matter. If it's $2, then you're going to have 20 extra dollars. Hello, Las Vegas. Good morning, Lisa. But I say $5, because usually they wouldn't do all 10. They would do like two fingers each nail. So I would chop $5, so that's 20 extra dollars for you. Mm. But just applying Chrome on. So I'm going to math this too. Hola, New York. Oh, New York. I, I, oh, my God. I missed that. Would that someone. be for each color? Um, pigment for three color. I go ahead and drop $10 nails. So that's 100 But for three color pigment, if it's just one color, and it could be $80, but it's three colors. So it's $100 at least. Ooh, Jenny, I love the new picture. Oh, hi, Jenny. Now I'm gonna take out texture gels. Okay, it's clear texture gel. This one my years. Good morning, glamour girl. Hi, glamour. I love touch glamour. That's why I need to know. I was um confused on how to set a price. Mm -hmm. It's two layers. It is a layer that you use. Is that layer difficult or not? You know, this layer of chrome easy, but some layer of chrome is difficult because I have to turn tricks in the seven layers. Tricks. Yeah, I have to turn trick, but this layer I don't need to turn trick. Clear? So, um, you can use 3D jelly if you like. Remember how I use 3D jelly and I have to cure for, for each stroke? So, you can use that. But today, uh, since we already have that for three days now, um, I am going to go ahead and use it. The first day we have it, I don't use it because uh, you guys don't have it yet. But now, I'm going to use uh, 3D. Um, I mean, te clear texture gel today. Clear texture. clear texture gel. So with clear texture gel, I am going to use a uh, 20 millimeter this time. Okay. See that? Oh, don't worry. Let's touch. We just started. We started with the money making now first. Okay. okay. So. The easy now. Let me show good. you. Go in here. I tour. Okay. And then I lift it. Okay. See that? Mm, I'm going to do it on the tablet. Okay. So when you you see this one right here, see that the tip of it? The tip of it have a lot of gels, right? So I'm going to place it on. And then I am going to slowly... I'm, I'm, I'm not pressing... I'm still using the tip, but the more I drag, the more the tip going to run out of gel. So it gets a little thinner and thinner and thinner. I'm still using the tip. So when it comes out of here, it's really skinny because there's no gel left on the tips. But notice that I'm still using the tips. See, I'm still touching just the tip. Because most people, when they make mistake is when they have this, okay, they run and then they start pressing, you know, so it's thickest. So I'm just using the tip, remember that. Uh, what else can I use? I have not ordered clear texture gel. You can but use. She does have black and white. Okay. You can use 3D jelly. 
in uh, to replace clear texture. It's just 3D jelly. It's cell leveling. So after you paint it a line, you should flash cure it for like a second before you paint the next line. So the gel doesn't run. You know what I mean? Sometimes on slick, slick surface, it might spread out just a tiny bit. But you see, if you do two lines close together, it will spread out and it will touch it. Even though it's not spreading out a lot, it's still going to move just a tiny mint a tiny millimeters, it, it can change things. <laughs> so that's why I use this just to save me a little time, but you can definitely use 3D jelly. And hello, candy coated. Hi, candy coated. You know what? I need two in the middle, not just one. Like that. <clears throat> two. So from here. Oh, I know this has nothing to do with anything in their life or yours, but the wheelchair ramp is out. I'm getting ready to find out about the name. Oh. See, I can just go without really worrying about flash keying it. Just be careful to space it out well. I can do it really close together, just as long as I um, don't touch it. If I touch it, it's fine too, but it's best not to touch it. So it's nice and crisp. Oh, poor candy goes see, see, I touch it a little bit right here, but that's fine. So she was feeling abandoned. Can you code it? Uh -huh. Why? Okay, honey. This is what I seen the other day. Uh -huh. If you get a chance to look outside. Not a little creepy? It is creepy. Okay. What is it? Oh. I feel like it's belonging to Willy hey. Wonka. Chocolate what are you walking to? Oh wow, that is almost horrible. Let's go a little Kind of cute one side, because I'm very happy with this side. Beautiful, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, candy coated, candy coated. Love the gels, cut is uh of the consistency of it. In that core, it like seashell. Uh, I always do on stiletto. Today I try to do on um, coffin just to see. Cause now usually I I won't I won't do on coffin because um, it's a little risky for me. Yes. But since I have this new gel, I'm feeling powerful. Oh. I'm feeling empowered by this gel, so I am dive right into coffin without fears. Oh, I think Eric is being sneaky and trying to watch us at work. Oh. Becky, can you turn your hand over for me? Thank you. Maybe I can even use a builder gel for this, but just mm -hmm. cut before moving for the next watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, make sure your builder gel is no wipe. If not, that's fun too. If not, then uh, you can just coat it with shine it after you're done. I will show you um, how to uh, top coat it too because uh, texture gel and 3D jelly is no white, but it's not really high class. So if you want it to be high class, you still have to top coat it. So I'll, I'll show you how. Good morning, Marianne. One. Just once, I would love to see you do medium and short nails so that you would feel miserable by doing that. <laughs> I used to. I used to do medium and short nails, but it's no different with 
than with lung now because I have menstrual proportion and everything first. So on live right now, I choose to do standard XXLs because I need it at teaser for my uh, big page. But uh, so that's why you XXLs. If you do medium and short, you just have to translate the design into the shape. Like if I'm short now, then the proportion still be the same. One part nude, two part colors in the middles. This is a middle right here. This is just low, below the middle. Even on short now and on sport now, then you know what to do. This is going to be just a short French tip that are colors and have line just like that. Exactly like that. On any shape or length. Now... The other one. So this is a uh, twenty dollar nails. Uh, if if you like, because I'm just adding five more dollar, you can add ten more dollars. So twenty five, a uh, two hundred and fifty dollar set, including crystal, will be very nice for them. Hmm, I forgot. I was doing um, four. Set one in the middle is two in the middle. This means you're very excited. Yes. I've noticed that. Really I'm really excited about this. I feel prepared today. Whenever I prepare, I feel good. But you know, sometimes when you do nail every day, you do live every day, it's become normal to you. Then you don't prepare that much because then again, when I do nail, I don't really prepare like that. But today I write down all the lists. I have it, everything in orders. One. Okay. Okay, I'll sleep in more often, baby. Two. Three. I need to show you how I pick it up too. Four. Five is when it's straight across. One, two, three, four. Just the corner, make sure everything is to your liking. And then Last phrase it. Remember, point away from your chair underneath. See my chair is right here. I point it over the left. All right, continue. Becky, turn your hand over, please. Thank you. Do two. So one in the middle on the left. One in the corner. In the left. <laughs> now. One. Two. Uh, what is that gel called? Texture gel. Mm -hmm. Clear texture gel. Three. At the end, I will show you how to find it on the website. On Tina Boda shop. Four and then five, it needs to be straight across. So five, straight across. And then four is in here. Okay, now that's four more. So it's one, two, three, and then one last one. Four. Can they add stained glass to the top whenever you can? Meeting? But you have the top coat because stained glass is not no white, it's sticky. It's the top coat. I'll show you. I'll show you the top coat. Here this. Here's oh, can they use stained glass at this? Um, It will be very liquidy. Be careful. It will be le very liquidy for you. Um, What you can do is um, you can either mix a little pigment in this or a little. um. Stained glass in this. Is that if you not, want? Is that 
non-cleanse so you don't have to put top coat on it? Uh-huh. Yes. But it's not high gloss. So later on, um, when I'm done with that, I will show you how you can add high gloss. At the end, I will show you how you can add high gloss in something that are texturized. You know, because it's not to a bland top coat like you normally would. You have to uh, turn a little trick on that. Can you use that to adhere diamonds? Um, you can use that for bead. Uh, diamond, I prefer 3D jelly because it's more, um, it's collapsible. You know, it's more smooth. This one is not as smooth, but for B, it's perfect because it stands still for the B. So these are you a lot for B. Because when I draw a line, that line stands there. So I can put all the beads in. Because when you use you a gel that are like fluid, then your line of beads is going to get crooked because it's moved. But this one, it don't move for the beads, so it's perfect for the beads. And for the crystal, I use 3D jelly for it. All right, now I'm going to add crystal on top of here when I'm done. So these are the first two that are fast money for you, multiple layers, okay? Now I am going to take one nail out and pen it nude. So I am going to design a mermaid and then I am going to add fish tail on for her. So this is the easier money nails. Yes. The, now we, this is cute. This, this is not um a custom nail yet, but it's, it's more complicated than uh, the first two now because the fish tail, you have to do a little drawing. So when the little drawing involved, it's gonna be a little more pricey to charge. But you have to draw, so you have to, you know, be a little bit of an artiste. Hear this. Artiste. Okay. I actually need to get to get the booting people out. Really? The booting people out? That's crazy, you guys. Yeah. That's crazy. Buffered for a minute over here, but and and I know that it control the the people the traffic go in and out too, because every time that we are on live, no fair when we connect with two two page, it's about two hundred people, right? But one thing that you have consider people go out and in a lot, so that's constantly traffic. People have to go, they get out of the live, they pick up a kid, another person get in, but no fair, it's always about two hundred. Yeah. That means that they control the algorithm, right? Yeah, I think so. In the meantime, look at all those damn birds. That's creepy. Oh my god, that is so. <laughs> that remind me of that Albert Hitchcock right. movie. Another code. You know, I don't know how many birds we find in the yard before we get scared. Kia. Live video is delayed. Mm, not a lot of people uh, have that problem it, this morning. People have that problem this morning. It's a very small amount of delay. Oh, like a lot. Since last time we created us not going online for two weeks, and we probably wouldn't mention it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, last week it was, was off. Awesome. Oh, yeah, man. Small, tiny glitch, but... Man, you were not here last week. It's awful. We right now, we are thankful for everything about the two screen. We don't care if it's a little delay. At least we have that because before, it's awful. Only one screen. We only get audience from just one page. It's so boring. Hear this. It's so boring. It's just one page. And then all the people are like, where are you? Where are you doing live? I thought you doing live today. I said, yes, I did live today on the small page. People oh. were so confused. Dustin Artino, can you tell us why and how you decided to start selling your own products? Okay, so I started out as a nail tech. I draw people, keep email, Instagram, and saying, please, please teach, please teach us, please open a class. And like, no, I'm happy, me and my client. I just, I just keep doing this and just posting like picture on. And 
at the time when I do nail for 13 years, my back is kind of killing me. But I didn't really know that in a different way. To me, that just waking up doing now. That's it. Um, Jenny, um, the queen of bling. Jenny is the first person that approached me and said, you know, do class with me. And I'm like, no, Jenny, I'm not ready. I, I never do a class before. It's scary. Like, how? How? How am I gonna do a class? Like, I I have well, no that, that you know there's no experience, and I'm happy where I am. I'm not looking for anything else. No. And then she asked me a couple of times. So finally, I have to go to class, not with her, but with Anne Jen. Just uh, just a small group of people in California. I was so nervous in my first class day. I was shaking. The moment I see the student and the moment because i don't know what to say you know i like i have to introduce myself like oh and the moment i lay down i touch a nail with all the product i become someone else i have become like oh, an my. extrovert uh, uh, i have become yappy i wouldn't stop yeah. talking i was becoming something else i was so powerful that day I never feel this feeling. So from then on, I do a couple of show, and then finally I do a class with Jenny. So I'm stepping into class. By that time, I am still ambassador for multiple company because I target in uh, products that are special. So I cannot work just one company. I work with multiple company because each company have something special about them. But I have to ask for sponsor in class. I have to like uh, daily jump. I have in the class. Can you? sponsor us uh so many kids this one this one this chrome color this chrome color i have to do it so, with so many company but you see I, I hate asking for that it's like begging for product i hate that so at, from then um there is this company overseas um i remember this one is germany germany approached me first and said you should have some product you should have some you know we we want to make product for you I like no, I'm not really a salesman. I I don't own a company. No, thank you. But uh, after that time, um, when I go to like about three class already, I like you know what? Because I need metal fat gel. I need metal fat gel. So I be like, maybe maybe I would have to make. It me. would be easier if you had your own stuff. Is what yeah. It's so I make metal fat gel, and I make like a five hundred bottle. And then but, I think we went to a class and they had half the bags with something else in it. No, no, these, not yet, not oh. yet. You jump in too fast. But you see, at that point, I have, um, now I have metal fat gel for the student, right? So I bring it to class. I was giving students that. I, because I already have money for the class. At that time, they pay me uh, $900 for class. So I already have my cut my share, so I just give them student that product. I, I I'm not very familiar because now you know, now I know people charge, people sell in class, stuff like that. But when I first started, I was so like I, I didn't know anything like that. So I put it on a website, but at that time I still doing low press on to sell on the side. So I decided to sell metal effects on my website overnight, you guys. Oh, of my bottle was sold out overnight. So I like, oh, okay. So I need to order more. So I got 3000 and I don't have my website yet. I still sell it on the present shop, shop for a while. And it's the hardest sell ever. So my second product is texture effect course. And that is when I was like, I need this, I need that, I need that. So I opened a little shop, Tino Voda shop. It's just a little shop that I opened by myself. Mm. I have a few specialty products, texture effects and 3D jelly, pixie gel, stuff like that. You know, cute. It's so cute. And people love it because it's so different. Nobody have it. So they're like, we want more, we want more. So from then on, Cindy, seeing that, that when I go to show with Cindy a couple of times, I have my products there. People, Cindy, see how crazy people act over the product with stained glass gel and metal effect and all that. So Cindy say, you know what, you know, it going to get crazy because at time time I like I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna I wanna teach because going to class with other people is restrict me on timing and all that. So I wanna teach. 
I tell Cindy that, and Cindy say, you know what? It's gonna go crazy. You're not gonna be able to handle it because at that point, I still in my house packing product. You know, Cindy say, no, this is not how you do it. You leave it to me. I have a facility, twenty three thousand square feet facility with people and a full operation of people shipping. I can buy more than you can. I can buy bulk. You know, say say cheaper on shipping and all that. I like okay. So we split fifty fifty now. I sell, and then Cindy ship take care of all the business. It's a perfect arrangement. So that is my that is my journey uh, from selling my product. I'm not just wake up one day and say I want to sell product. It's it developed from teaching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you wanted everybody. Okay. Ultimately, your passion was the teaching. And you mm -hmm. wanted to make everyone have everything. But I only tell you once, so I'm not gonna tell you again. It's a long story. <laughs> okay, now I need to put pigment on this. Okay, so I taken this out, and I'm gonna put matted on this. Remember, uh, if you mat on a different brand, then you have to test out your timing. Use uh, first, you make sure your mat is cell level, meaning when you apply it on the surface, it's smoothed out by itself. Because if it don't smooth out, then your pigment will be very streaky, which is not good. So you have to make sure it's cell level first. Then you have to make sure that you test out your mat, uh, put it on and tear it for five seconds and put pigment on to see if it's easy or it's still too wet. If it's still too wet, then you put in for about a couple more seconds and then again, take it out, try it again and establish the timing on your mat brand. Hear this? I'm just going to give for eight seconds. Isn't this Susie? So yeah, that's my, my process of selling is first, when I first started, I just want my students to have product because the, the thing that I teach, if you don't have the right product, you're not going to be able to do it. You know, they're going to run around in class like chicken with a head cut up, you know. So I say, I have to have product and very specific too. I, like each chrome, it had to be a certain <laughs> color chrome, a certain glitter chrome, and people thought it was crazy. They're like, they're like, mm. well, they didn't understand your brain. Yeah, she's just like, well, you can just take anything. You can just take. Um, we have like three color gel, like a purple and a, a brighter purple and a black. Like you can use that. Like no, no, no. I need glitter gel. I need stained glass gel. I need cat eye gel. She like. Okay, mm -hmm. I tell them to send you a collection. I say, no, no, not a collection. I, I need, oh my God, I, for, I forgot to take this out. No, I need certain color. I need specific colors. I, you know, not random colors. So from that frustration, and then sometimes they send me, they don't send me what I asked for. They will send some random thing thinking that I can pull it out. No, I, I when I teach something, I need specific product. You so like that's that. yeah everything perfectly lined up perfectly lined out before i do anything so from that struggle i like you know what i'm just gonna have my own Hear this for eight seconds i forgot i forgot to take it out early eight seconds for the mac to a deer pigment his life takes eight seconds eight seconds but i would start out with five until you find out the power of your lamp Mm-hmm. Good morning, Bless Nails. Make sure you test out your uh your gel and your lamp first. All right, we have pigment here. See now today we're so organized now. We no longer sloppy like before. Clean. You know, it's been a beautiful watch when you do this during your life. Mm -hmm. Cause right now, a lot of, mm, not a lot, but there's a few companies that thinking that mm, I'm competing with them because I'm doing live, I'm teaching all the trick and secret. No, I'm not trying to compete with anyone. They don't know my um, my, my, my past, you know, the reason why I started out of this. I just want to teach. And 
it's just so difficult for me to to teach what I want and the timing and all that in class. It's it's difficult for me, and that's why I start slowly venture out. Now I can teach by myself because that's really what I prefer. You know, no one would rules on me. No one would time in on me. It's perfect. It's all perfect. I think that was one of our biggest issues with traveling was when the places would close down and you weren't done teaching. I wasn't done teaching. I need time. You know, I, I say, why can you book a play where you can have asset done for hour? You know, they have to be there. You have to close down. And man, those people, I'm telling you, they're so lazy. Mm. Right at seven, they're like, you guys gotta go. You guys gotta go. Right at seven. I said, no, I haven't done teaching. <coughs> when we go cat with Vina, Vina have to be mean to them because <laughs> they don't keep their word. You know what I mean? I'm so glad I ha we have Vina. Vina can just tell them in their face. Ah, <sighs> Anyway, I'm so glad now we can teach free range. Mm -hmm. can be on any time we want. We can get up anytime we want. We can take all our time to make all this intricate design. Because that's how you feel happiness and success is when you know that they've learned it mm -hmm. and they can execute it and they'll remember it. And my journey on the life is also very different. I'm not sorry, I'm doing just this. Uh, I start out um, demonstrating my product because it was so different than everyone else. But I can only do it once a week. And then I start to do more day. But then um, I don't have time for my content. So now it's like Q2 but with one stone because I'm doing content on here. Most of it anyway. So the door we talented. Thank you, Ross. Oh, thank you. <laughs> They said we were free range chickens without running around with our heads cut off. I know, right? Okay. So, a deep background. Make sure that this purple is a lot. Some blue, some green uh, down here. But the reason why it's dark because the mermaid tail is going to be right here, you guys. So, it's need a dark background for that. Cure because we only cure for eight seconds. So, we have to keep curing. Meanwhile, I'm going to buff for this because I do want to use a pencil to draw the face of the mummy. I never draw this face. I, so I am going to use pencil just in case. If you want to use gel and uh, just a liner brush, you're more than welcome to. That's it exactly, Lost and Found. The people who are worried about looking at him as competition are less concerned about quality and more about their bottom line. Sure. They don't want to compete with me. <laughs> Not a competition. Right. It's because they doesn't know my story. It's a long story. I don't tell that to everyone. Okay. Before I even started to do anything, I need to put my pigment back and I need to chrome this. I need to, uh, first I need to make a tail silhouette for my mermaid. A tail silhouette? Mm -hmm. Using shadow. Okay, you can use art gel if you want. I'm just using shadow for this. Because it's just a silhouette. It do not need any control or any fine line. Quickest way. Okay, and for that, I am going to use a pointy brush. That's what I used this morning. A pointy brush for that. Okay, so I'm going to use a pointy brush, pointy and ground. Darn it, said. I want a sous chef, but for nails. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who just wants to do all the art fun stuff. Now, you draw a sway. So, 
you start right here for the tails okay because up here it's gonna be a big big tail up here so you start about right here this is a middle so it's a little bit up just a little now i'm gonna do a sway so i'm gonna go down and then i'm gonna slant to the right and then i'm gonna keep going down okay exaggerate a little bit so it can go down just a little more now you're doing the same thing going down and then sway to the right but it's gonna be way bigger than the top okay so that is a tail now here you start here you do a curve so you go up and then you start curving to your right okay now if you if you're not comfortable with drawing, you need to top coat it with matte or shine or whatever. But um, you need to top coat this because if you make a mistake, you can wipe up. Right now, if I make a mistake, I wipe up, my pigment gonna go away. Okay, so you can uh, secure it first with a top coat if you want. Now, from here, I'm gonna start to curve the opposite way. So go to the right and slowly go up, go up, go up, and curve to the left. I'm gonna draw half the tails. So from here, start right here from the bottom. I curve up and then I do a few little wave. Curve to the right again. And I, I curve now I'm slowly you lifting my brush and just use the tip of my brush. But this is the end. Okay. Now here I'm comfortable. I don't I'm not comfortable drawing from right to left. So I tell Becky to turn the hand over again for me. Becky, can you turn your hand over for me, please? Thank you, Becky. Now from here you curve up. Same thing at the other side. Curve up. And then cut the opposite way. Now I know all of us was thinking that first part was the tail fin. Oh god. The tail's getting bigger. So you just a few wave. See that? Now when you're done, you're more than welcome to draw some fin on. Let me draw some fin on for you. I'm using a, um, a five millimeters. You can use a seven if you want. Nina Bronx said, this is the kind of no artist I need in New Jersey. <laughs> when I seen Bronx, I thought, Oh, she could go to Jenny's daughter. Yeah, Jenny's daughter is good too. Jenny's daughter is a rising star. Mm -hmm. Jenny is so lucky. All her children are really good children. I feel like maybe I don't use enough product. That makes my artwork a little janky. Okay. Yeah, because shadow is so leveling. Just remember, don't put it too thick because it's very pigmented. If you put it too thick, it can cause wrinkle on you. But I use it because it's just very thin and fluid. Okay, so this is going to be my tails. Now I can adjust it however I want, make it a little bigger.
see just a little, just tiny little detail to resemble the fin. See that? Just tiny little detail. Just so later on I can put a fin right there. Now I'm gonna kill this. Let's, let's. Okay, good. I'm gonna kill this. This is not instant gravitation, you guys, so don't blink. Don't blink. <laughs> Told you don't blink. <coughs> if you blink, you're gonna miss it. Hi, just met here. Hello. Jenny from the block. Yeah, Jenny, it's come from a block. No, Jenny from the block Oh, oh, no, that, that's Jennifer Lopez. I don't know Jennifer Lopez. Um, I just know Jenny. I only know now celebrity. I don't know like singer because I cannot really sing, so I'm not in that circle. Now, see this? I am going to take pick, um, chrome base and apply chrome base all over it. This is what I'm going to use. Okay. You can use any you know white top coat. This is not an exclusive product. This is just extra, so it's nice for you. <clears throat> now, just a quickie for the lost and found nail lounge. So that uh, thinks she's using too much product in her nails or it gets janky, which mm -hmm. means it's like the detail lines and everything. Mm -hmm. So most likely she's not applying the product on her brush properly. She has to use the tips of her brush. <coughs> Pressure is um, pressure will make it tick. Pressure will make the press tick. Here this, I'll show you. So you've heard it first here, you gotta use your tits. It's easy, let me show you. Uh, we try to do videos every day. You see this palette right here? Now I want you to watch the tip of my brush, okay? This is my brush. I'm gonna touch it with the tip, okay? You see how it is? It touches it with tip. Now watch. If I press on it, watch. What what do you see now? It's not a small tip. It's a big tip. Same with land brush. When you use just the tips, it's very light because you have a pointy tip. Your land brush have a pointy tip. If you see your tip, then it's gonna be light. But if you press, the more you press and run the bigger the line become. Very easy. As long as you understand that concept, you should have to understand it. But as long as you understand that concept, it, it will help you. You should have to understand what make it tick. Mm -hmm. Now, I have this. Ooh, it's so dark. I cannot see anything. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is I am going to take white gel. And then a drink of water eventually. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Now, for white gel, I would like to use texture effect. Non-cell leveling. However, if you have art gel, you can use that too. Gel <coughs> pen, you can use that too. Um, just make sure it's no wipe so you can put chrome on it. Texture gel. Oh, there's a new bottle. Texture gel right here. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop some texture effect out. Slide it on your palette. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have my clear 3D jelly also take it out. I mean, not 3D jelly, clear textures. Okay. Now I'm having the pointy brush. I am going to submerge it. And texture gels, clear texture gel. You can use 3D gel too. <clears throat> what is the difference between 
clear texture gel and silicone gel. Mm. Silicone gel is not really a gel where you draw or engrave. Or you can engrave, but it's not a gel we can draw because clear silicone is a clay. It's actually is a silicone. It's, it's the name right there is fit because when it dry, it dry like silicone. So you play with your hand. For that, for this, you you, you can build it. You can um, draw with it. Okay. So the reason why I did it with clear first and then I just scoop the head with some texture gels because when I lay it down here and run, what happened is I start to run out of textures. Okay. And it's gonna have this beautiful little differences right here from white and it's blend in and it's clear in the middle. Okay, this is what I want to achieve. So I am going to draw this along right along the tails. And then you a land brush. You are now with it. It's starting to look touchable, honey. Oh yeah. Because if you don't dip with anything clear, like a clear beauty chair or a clear texture chair, you don't dip it first. Then when you run out white, it's gonna be a little try for you to to track it. But since there's clear chair on already, when you run out of white, like see clear chair, you scoop a little white. So when the white run out, you still have chair. It's just clear chair now instead of white chair. So the line is will be smoother. It's not gonna be. Um, It's not gonna be dry. Frictiony? Yeah, if not, then it's not gonna be smooth. So, I uh, still use it in the pointy brush, but now I'm drawing a little scale, little scale for it. Just on one side. This is like a highlight. At this point, I don't pick up 3D gel really a lot anymore. <coughs> I'm just using a little bit of texture gel. Uh, I mean, uh, the white texture effect. Brandon said she's going to go broke today buying all these products. <laughs> but think of how much money you can make having the products. Right. You invest in it. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. Leave it on the, the shelf. Study it. Whenever you need it, you know that it's right there. When when I um travel, sometimes people are like, do my nail, boom, do my nail, do my nail. I'm like, no. I'm not doing it now because I'm not at my station, you know. Everything robotic. Right. I'm, I'm insecure if I'm not at my station because I don't have proper stuff. I need proper stuff. Easier that way. All right. I am going to take this and I'm going to cure this. Okay. Cure.
And then when I'm done, I'm gonna do something astonishing. You're gonna be like, oh, do you know what you're doing? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put it right here. Now, when I'm done, this is pink in a comb, okay? I'm gonna apply all over the nails, all of it covered in pink unicorn. I miss what product you're using for the tails. I'm, uh, oh, the tails. So I just have some black gels. I painted the tail in, and then I mat um, I put a uh, chrome base on all of it. So now all the nail can adhere chrome. I'm taking a pointy brush. And I'm using clear, uh, this is white texture effect gels because it's not on cell level, so it don't run anywhere. And I need that, I need the white to stay there. And then I use clear texture gels, but you can use like a 3D jelly or like a beauty gel, that's fine. You just need some um, slightly thick, but not too thick, uh, clear coat, that's all. And that is a tool that I'm using and I submerge my brush in clear and then I scoop a little white. So when I run, I press and I run, when my white run out, I still have gels left. I still have clear gel left. So it's make a transition, like a feathery transition. Coco Bunny has texture effect, right? Texture effect, yes. And let me see it say this. I have watched you make a shit ton of scales over the years. Uh -huh. There's mermaids, dragons. This was the easiest it's ever lined out. Yeah. You remember the day when you had to do every little individual line? Oh, yeah. I remember that day. I'm still doing it now and then. Whenever I'm in the mood, I'd be like, oh, let's celebrate the old days. Celebrate the old days. Taking out line of brush, start drawing scale. <laughs> celebrate the old days and struggle. Oh, the old day. I miss the old day. Yeah. When we're driving in the mountains, saying, can you imagine our horse pack? Okay. That's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. Now, when I'm done, close my pink unicorn, dust it a little bit. Now, what I do is I take out sticky, okay, to cover all the tails. I do that so I can protect the chrome too. Apply sticky out. It's very flexible too. Okay, so that is sticky. Now I'm gonna pan over the fish tails with a pointy brush. Apologize for the vicious dogs in the background. I know, right? And this sticky doesn't really ruin the chrome. Some bays, they do ruin the chrome. They make the chrome like glittery. Mm hmm So what I'm doing right here is I secure the tail so I can just go in with a paper towel with a stone and wipe up all the chrome around it. So what I'm doing is I put sticky on here so I can uh, secure it so the chrome on the tail, it doesn't go away. But wherever it is, it doesn't have clear coat, then the chrome will go away. using the light just so you can see. Sometimes clear on clear, uh, it's a little difficult to see. So you just have to turn and twist the nail using the light. It will guide you, it will show you the way.
And if you don't have um, sticky, then if you have like a base coat, but um, preferably uh, like a UV primer or a tack coat or um, anything that are sticky and apply on natural nail, you use that. If you don't have any of that, then you just do a top coat. Just a rubber top coat will be good too. Just any clear coat just to protect this. Make sure I get the side well too. This, it can adhere to the chrome and it can adhere to the top coat too. Oh, on the side. Here. Thank you, Shirley Yola. Thank you. So that is way different than this, of course. It's more customized. Okay. Okay, now take it out. I am going to use Shandit. Do a few drop of shine it on here. Just a few drop. Cure this drop. And then now, right here, just one little one. And maybe another one right here. Okay. It don't have to be a thick drop, just a medium drop. Here it is. Oh, <laughs> Shirley, that is so sweet. <laughs> Shirley say no one is messing with me at all. <laughs> okay, so I get have to put picture back out too. See, I, I keep adding and adding. Oh, I have to write it in. Picture effect. White. Texture effect is in effect gel, gel, and is in texture effect. It's have its own category. Texture effect. Okay, so that's the way I did on the website. Now take it out. I'm ready to wipe this up. So I'm getting a uh, paper towels and I put in some Aston in. Wipe this up. Okay. Now remember, the sticky is not a shine coat, so it's not gonna be shiny when you wipe up. So don't be distracted by it, okay? I mean, you got crystals. I got crystals coming. Crystals. Oh, oh, Cindy sent. Oh, oh. I tell Cindy to send this because I need to put it on the website, and mm, mm, I I want pink crystal because I I need a lot of crystal so I can take pictures so I can put it on the website. Um, so it's gonna be soon. I am gonna release a uh, opal kit first, just one color each kit, a small kit, probably like. $25 or so, I'm going to try to make it as small and less expensive as possible because people rather have small amount and they have many, many colors. Uh, so I tell Cindy to put the pink opal. Send me the pink opal, but she also send me the uh, typical white opal. Just send me the, uh, this is uh, jade opal right here, Pacific jade opal. And, oh, uh, Hey, Winkle Opals. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on later. Can you put it in the same place? Yes, yes. It's going to be quick, I promise. 
I promise. Quick. Yeah, I'm gonna put on quick. Yeah. Promise. Uh, okay. You had a question up here for you. Proceed. Okay. Uh, first of all, the paper cow he uses Viva. Viva paper cow. V I V A. Mm -hmm. And then um, someone wanted to know what little ball cure light do you use? Oh, cure light. I use um, I use man flash cure light with silicone on it for encapsulation. Um, the, oh, I'm going to put the light into the uh, list too. You can find it on the essential category. So I, I, I'm applying matte on all of this. All over. Here. Oh, I forgot to write down the step, you guys. <laughs> oh, just today, tomorrow. Don't forget. Tell me to write down the step. Oh. I guess at the end of the show, I can write down the step. Good. Yeah, at the end of the show, I will write down the step. Yeah, let's do that. Instead of just, you know, instead of just write down in between the process, I can forget it very easy. So I will write down the step at the end of the show. Okay, let it clear, let it clear. Now, <clears throat> you need this. Okay, I'm going to do some textures on the mermaid. It's going to be extraordinary fun. Extra. Oh, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Um, I'm not using the pointy brush anymore. I'm using these Lana brush, 10 millimeters. Ten millimeter I'm using. Everything is mad. You know what that means. Yeah. Oh yes. Cat is getting slick. See, I touched this one a little, but that's fine because it's clear texture, so it's gonna sell level very slow. So I'm not freaking out or worried. Mm -hmm. That is really, yes, looks very oriental satin to me. Yes. Okay, now I'm wiping my brush clean so I can do a little line in here. A little line in here. Here. Okay, another one. If you don't have white textures, can you mix white gel paint with clear textures? Oh, you can, honey, you can, you can. Yes, you can. But don't mix too much gel because uh, unless it's non-cell level. But if your gel is cell level, don't mix too much because clear texture gel is non-cell level. But remember, the gel paint going to be in it, so it's going to be non-cell level. Uh, it's going to be cell level. So make sure you have less to keep it non-cell level. And today's today's learning word from France is is gonna be ma cherry. What does that mean, glamour girl? We oui, we oui, ma cherry is yes, my darling. Oh, I know French. You know French. I know French. It's yes, my darling. We. Oh. Oui. So ma is yes and cherry. No, ma is mine. Oh my god. You're bad at language. 
we knew that. We knew that. This is not a big surprise. Sherry, my Sherry, Sherry mean uh, darling. Mm -hmm. I thought when we were trying to order that soup last night, we all agreed that I couldn't pronounce. I know, right? <laughs> You're welcome, Red Bone. And you can stop right here. I'm just choosing to make it 3D just because I want to and I can. Man, yeah, you can stop. You can stop by just one line. I just, you know, you know me. <laughs> one line is not going to be satisfied to me. I have to make it into a sculpture. Sometimes it seems and looks different because before I would always watch it feel like I wasn't getting enough and want to come hang out over your shoulder. Uh -huh. But watching it on here is very satisfying. Isn't that? Chiki said that's so stunning. You make it look so easy. Thank you, Chiki. It is easy, Chiki. <laughs> God, I have so much fun with her in class. I know, right? No, Chiki gets me in trouble. Me and Chiki go hang out. Right, and I like, where are you? Why are you not here in class? She said, this looks fascinating to me. I'll pace the floor until I get my clear texture done tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you're going to love this stuff. It's, oh, you get it tomorrow? Yay. You really just want to touch it. It's kind of amazing. Good morning, Nicole. Hello, Nicole. Kia. Yeah. Another one. Okay, yeah. Is clear texture for sealing? Sorry if you answer already. I'm working and watching. Uh, clear texture? No, that is a, a non cell leveling gel. So anytime it's very helpful for details that are very close together that are embossed because this gel, it doesn't move much. And like 3D jelly, 3D jelly is a level gel built for encapsulation. And so when you draw, it's, it's very smooth when you draw, but it like to run. So if I draw, if I don't draw like small detail close together, then I use 3D jelly. But if detail like this, if I want to stack it, a lot of um, line are close together and I want to build it up really high, I use uh, texture gel, clear texture gel. So it can stay put for me. It's more um, less messy for me than the other gel. Less messy. Mm -hmm. I don't have to clear it that often. Wow. 
wow, that's just truly amazing. Thank you. Now I get why I see the different technique at the beginning of this. Yeah. It's just not your normal tail anymore. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like super mermaid. Yes, surely he is absolutely an artist for real, for real. Isn't that cool? It is, it just really. Okay. Just when I thought I had seen everything. Now I'm gonna use shine it. Go ahead and slather on the bottom. Yeah. Hey, honey, can you see the uh, iPad? The iPad? Yes, I need to see this uh, girl's face. I don't know, we won't be in. Yeah, they haven't had questions for so long, we don't have to worry about them. Okay, so I am going to draw now. Goodness. So this one I'm drawing. I already buff it first. Okay, this I already buff it. So, so it doesn't matter what pencil you use as long as you buff the nails. It's not the trick is not in the pencil. The trick is in the nails that you buff. Okay. I'm gonna uh, actually I'm gonna throw on some uh, top coat before I'm done with this. You can use a dotting tool. I'm just, I'm just using my brush just to be quick because it doesn't. It's not very important in this step. So you're gonna have that picture pulled up the rest of the thing, aren't you? Yeah. Cause her face kind of look this way. Her face kind of look this way, and then her tail is gonna be right here. So it's like she curving, and her tail is right there. So look at this. Let's see. Good morning, Mama Vic. We're all doing fantastic. I like that. Okay, now uh, pencils. So I'm gonna get a pencil out. Have you ever went to a nail competition here? No. Is it because you never felt like it's a competition? I skip it. And you want everyone to go? We took a Remember, I'm doing not in the competition, not in the beginning. I'm looking for a, a shopping list. Team like Okay, so I don't have a shop in there. I'm just gonna uh, draw with this. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna have grid. So this right here is my metals. Okay, that's my metals. So now I'm going to her nose. Uh, this top of the head. From the top of the head. From here to the eyebrow is equal to from here to the chin. So 
eyebrow is here. Chin is here. Okay. So the nose is right here. Curve into the left. And about right here. Do a little curve for the nose. And then down here, do a little hole for the nostril. Nostril right here. The frame of the nose. Frame of this nose. The last nail has its flat on the floor. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to draw the lips. The curve is right below this left nostril, right here. Do one little curve and then slant it down from the right all the way to here. This distance. Slanted and slowly going across straight. This slanted, but not too much. Just down here. And then do a little curve. And then another curve like an M. Okay, now the bottom lip, like a W, you curve a little bit, and then you slant it slightly to the right, curve a little bit more, slant it up. Eyes, start about right here, do a little sway, so you curve down, and then you curve up. And then round a little bit for the eyelid. Uh, eyes is about the top of the lip right here. So this eye is top of the lip, good. Eyebrow, this distance of the eyes is equal to from here to here, it's from here to here. So. The name of the app is Grid, just G R I D, just Grid. Yes, it's just Grid. With a hashtag. With a hashtag. Grid with a hashtag. Okay, so now I am going to draw these eyes, which over here. Okay, from here to here, this distance. Is equal to mm, from here to here. Okay, from here to here is equal to from here to here. So from here to here, this eyes have a proper space out. This is you going straight across. Hit the top of the nose. Top of the nose straight across is right here. Do a little curve. on the eyebrow. Okay. This eyebrow is a little big. Same eyebrow. Okay. Now the chin. 
all the way down here. This distance is about double this distance. Okay, good, good. good. So now I can navigate it. Or this this chin is equal to the nose. Span of the nose equal to the chin. That's good. I spot my chin about right here. So from here you go straight down, and then you go left just a little bit. It's the end of the chin. So this cheek is straight down. Let draw this part first which is the, the the cheek the eye you go and out and about right here did you erase with buffer yes so going down okay and then i need to go out to about right here so how are you gonna measure this um down, out from the mouth just a little bit. Okay, the mouth end right here. You get go out just a little bit. Okay, now you slant it down, and then about right here. That's when you go all the way down, straight down. Okay. Now you keep going straight down to about right here when you're hitting the lips. Okay, Let's draw a chin in right now. So you go down, down to about right here, you stop. Okay. Now, this one, so about right here, you stop and then you go in a little bit toward the right and then you keep going straight down. In a little bit and then straight down. Okay, now you slant it down. From here to here, you slant down to the middle and then you go across. It's about right here. Okay, now from here, from here to here, the middle, start splitting, curving down and then go straight down. So now the rest are easy because it's just a hair. So uh, I'm going to draw the hair. Ooh, so pretty. Actually, I'm still going to uh, measure in the grid because her hair like this is beautiful. I want to make, make it. Uh, yes, the grid F is green. Yes, it is green with white grid on it. You uh, You find it. Okay, so now hair, forehead is up here. The forehead is e from here to here is equal to from here to here to the end of the grid in the middle. From here to here equal from here to here. Okay, good. So now I'm going to draw our hair. Curve, love it, curve, love it. All right, here too. And then her arm, her shoulders. So her shoulders from here to here is equal to from here to here. Her whole face is equal to her whole hair. That's easy. Yes, he did detail. Whole so face beautiful. and then whole hair down here. Oh, that's my mermaid. <clears throat> okay. I'm still going to leave it here. Does it need it? Uh, yes. Color-wise. Uh, what pencil are you using? 
Uh, I'm using a uh, ebony graphite, but it's not the pencil. Remember, what I told you, it's not the pencil. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a mat. Uh, not not mat. It's a buff background. <clears throat> okay. So remember, if you don't buff your background, <clears throat> it doesn't matter what pencil you have. You're not gonna be able to draw on the nails. Remember, it have to be buff completely. Okay, I'm gonna have some aston or you can use alcohol, whichever you like. Uh, I want to remove the, uh, some of the, the grid. unnecessary grit. Uh -huh. You don't have to. You can just put gel directly on it. I just want to, just just in case, if I want to leave the nude background for her skin, I can. You know, just less distraction. She's so pretty. I love her. She's really pretty. her hair and everything so free love it mm -hmm. okay now I am gonna start coloring her oh and look at her tails I'm so excited oh I'm so excited for her oh I can't wait to see her she's so cute okay I'm gonna try to mask the color as much as possible so far, I'm gonna draw her face first. See the face. Okay, I already have the nude. Thanks, thanks God, I already have the nude. So what left is uh, do a little shadow on hers. Um, first, uh, let's do her her lip first. Yeah, let's do a shadow first. So. Sh Shadow, I am taking brown, stained glass. See, it's stained glass gel. I'm taking number 12 out. The name of the app is Grid. G-R-I-D. Hashtag? G-R-I-D. Hashtag. Okay, put my pencil back. I'm done drawing. I am taking 10 millimeters. Drawing her eye shadows. And I'm also going to need a filler brush with me. Filler and fish towel. I need a filler brush. It's like micro, micro blade. Okay, uh, ombre brush actually. Okay, now. All the way down. Filling in under her chin. Yeah. You should do a moonlight shadow. I always try to do, but fail. Moonlight shadow? What do you mean? The shadow of a moon? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe you just 
moonlight shadow. Yeah, that's the shadow of the moon, right? Oh, here's a good question. We noticed it's kind of chilly and cold in Missouri. Will you be cooking chili tonight? Oh my God, they did not ask that you pigs. <laughs> Who the hell asked him that nonsense question? <laughs> She's so beautiful. Can I not just draw her? Can she just appear right in front of me right now? I have to like work for her? Lord, lovely Lord. She's needy. Like as in moonlight coming down her face. In the ocean. Ah, that is a challenge for me too. We will get to it together. Together, we can do it. That was beautiful. Yeah, shadow of the moon. It's not just you. I'm also uh, not familiar with it. We shouldn't say that we can do it. We should say we're not familiar with it. But we don't do it often. Well, I never do it before. But once you get something in your mind, then you'll be playing till you get it. Oh, yeah. There goes my chili dinner. So I'm drawing a little split for her right at the little mouth. Okay. And then circle in the nose. All the way here. All right, Kendall, you have the rest of us day. Have a blessed day, Kendall. I will see you later. I, uh, tomorrow, 11. Is this stained glass? Right? Yes, it is. Yes. It is. Oh, my God. Can you imagine I use other color, like an actual color, like a solid color? No way. It would be way too difficult for me. Because of the without its transparency, it'd be hell to blend. I hate using just gel palettes to blend or gel paint to blend. It's hell. I, I love stained glass gel for that reason. That's why I fall in love with it because I discover out it's neat. Before it is a palette trick, um, for people to take um, you know, like clear nails and then put a stained glass color on. But since the day I found out its purpose is neat, oh, we use stained glass all the time. Okay, seems like everything is in order. Okay, good, good, good. Everything is in order now. You see her shoulders. Okay, now here and then take a break from her face. Do her hair. Uh, do you sell them as a collection or individually? Which one? Stained glass? Stand glass yeah. um, Stained glass, the whole collection is available from 1 to 14. It's available right now on the as side. A collection. Mm -hmm. As a collection. Yeah, Cindy, put it on. Check it. We're not 100% sure. I can check it. No, I mean, I'm telling them to check it. Okay, so now I'm going to take indigo blue, this indigo blue art gel. I'm going to apply on here. TLC said yes, it's on there. She saw it Monday. Okay, good. 
Thank you, DLC. Okay, blue on, light out just a little. I'm pretty sure there's definitely singles. Tino always wants to offer singles so that you, just like you said, if you use too much of something. Right. I always sell single. Um, I, I have bundle, but I never force people to buy just bundles. I always leave option for people to buy individual items. Because I would hate it if I wouldn't force to buy the whole thing. Mm -hmm. What happened if I run out blue? Then what, I have to buy the whole thing? Just mm -mm. for blue. Just for blue. Mm -mm. So now people don't have to. Okay. There is a little bit of darkness right here. Yeah, that's so kind of sounded like a mermaid melody. Yeah. Get in the bath. Ombre brush start to kind of fade it out just a little. It don't have to be a perfect fade. You should get rid of this harsh line. She's beautiful. Thank you. She is. She is. I'm glad I used the crit. Get it on you the crit. God now what she will become. Proportions with me. She could yeah. become a monster. This angle is not an easy angle to draw for the face. Face are good when it frontal, but this angle, when she do this, <laughs> it's very difficult. With her lip, it's, it's extremely difficult. So thank thank you for grit. Cause then great make my life easy. I don't have to guess. I don't have to spend much energy measuring. See, aren't you glad I did this last? That's why I decided leave the uh, front of for last. Cause I do want people to learn all the easy money making design art first, and then now we can to clear this. A good strategy to help them. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Turquoise. 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 Art gel. This one's going to unique. Art gel. Turquoise. Guy Color says, I am learning a lot of tips from you as I am very new to the industry. Can you give any advice? I'd say stick around. Stick and around. also make yourself a goal list so you know what you want to do in mm -hmm. this industry. Be patient. And cook chili when it's cold. My advice is you taking first you know what you're good at something. You take one thing, you perfect it, and then move on to another things. You have to make sure that whatever okay. Practice is different. When people practice and practice and then let's say you do 10 times, okay? That doesn't mean you're done. Most people are like, oh, I have been practicing for two hours, I'm done. No, you have to be able to produce the same pieces that I produce. That's when you're done practicing. Then, then you can move on to another one. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm asking this, but how much would you charge for this set? Um, This set, I would say 350 for the face, including the face if not the face and 250 you know i had decided i was gonna because you practice every day mm -hmm. i was gonna record you one night or record the time that you put on extra because i think a lot of people think you're good and you're great 
and then that's where it stops but it's not when, it's, when you're it's never stop be careful going. what you signed up for that journey will never stop until the day you die you'll be doing nail design that's how you reach success but happy but happy clear this But here you can find any education, any education um, video footage that you want to learn. Then you just pick one and then just watch and learn. Mm. Oh, I I post uh, the video yesterday to YouTube this morning already. Sometimes when I post it on YouTube too, so people can rewind, watch in in the TV yeah, and they can the rewind screen. it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm so impatient. Oh my God. God bless America. Oh, please hurry up and done already. Okay, so now I'm doing green. Turquoise, turquoise. Are on here too. Gonna leave a little bit on the hairline so I can see. Okay, Kia. <laughs> Jamie said, my mermaid looks like your mermaid's ugly stepsister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've taken stained glass gel out. Stained glass gel is number 11. What's, uh, what's your YouTube channel? Tino Vo. Tino Vo. My uh, oh. profile picture is like my profile picture on um, on Instagram. So I have art gel, I need to write that in. I have stained glass gel, I need to write that in, write that in. Oh, that's a lot of new stuff I haven't put out yet. You just kept going, or anything of it? No, but some, sometimes I do need certain things. Sometimes I need certain things, so I have to take it out. Okay, why art gels? I'm gonna paint it a little hair for her. First, I need to take stained glass gel first, and uh, I need to make this corner darker for her. Make sure it's not too thick. Here. Yeah. And then this stained glass gel is number eight. It's a blue stained glass. I'm gonna use that. Just in the middle of the green and the uh, blue. Oh, that's going to drop it down. Just like this. Did make a huge difference, didn't it? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, I might, I'm not going to cured it yet because I need the background to be kind of wet-ish. And then I'm going to take art gel. I'm going to draw hair. Oh, oh not yet. Okay, hold on. Do you do, <clears throat> do you draw your designs on paper first? Mm-mm. It's in my head. But you can, you can draw it on paper. Uh, it only works if you work when with pattern design, not um, design like this, like the face. It's n don't do that. But you can do that with like, um, if you work with like pattern, you know what I mean? Like a uh, line work or anything like that, then yes. I find that very helpful drawing out. 
you can do that if you wish to. But uh, for abstract design or layer design, the color and everything. So you need to put gel onto your design too. Um, but uh, I, I use, I draw it on paper. It, it just line work and color blocks is easier for me. Lashley said, the little details you do, I would never think of. Yeah, see, at this, I, I wanted to, uh, to be wet so I can just draw the hair on easier. And I think, I think the detail evolves as your art evolves. Yeah. You know, this is the wrong thinking, but like five years ago, I thought that you were, there was no way for improvement. It was just so perfect. But somehow you keep doing it. There's always room for improvement. Always. So her hair kind of sway to about right here on this side too. See, it's easier for me to draw on wet gel. It's easy for me to twirl and curve and everything. Yeah, it's harder for me to dry on, not harder, but it's longer for me to dry on surface. I have to change my angles. But on wet surface, I can just twirl very easy. Here it is. Good morning, Fallis. Hi. Hello, Fallis. Finally here, Flawless. This is what we did so far. Two of these is easiest. And then this uh, fish tail design is a little more difficult. You know, you might be the fault for shitty nail designs out there. Yeah. Yeah, you imagine all of a sudden you pop on, the client comes in, they're probably going to rush you out to hurry up and watch you. Okay, now. Come on, come on, Kia. Oh, I'm taking out early. Okay, now. Let's see, let's see. I need milk to add highlight to this. Milk top coat. Take it out. I'm gonna add some milk top coat on top of here, just so it can further blend this out for me. The milk on her skin. Even it out here. A little bit more. All right. Here. And then now I'm going to draw a highlight on her face. I'm just using white art gels and with the assistance of milk top coat. So white art gels. And then milk top coat. Okay, I'm going to draw her spine up her nose first.
Okay, now I'm gonna take some milk top coat and apply it right here to kind of fade it out. Two questions. Go ahead. Um, one is, are these products all created by you? Yes. And then I'm sorry I'm asking, but when you're plan when are you planning to put your products on Amazon so I can buy without custom duty charges? Um, yes, it's done by me. Um, Cindy has planned for Amazon, but we don't know when um, we're going to make it happen. Uh, she just... Uh, it's in her plan, so eventually it will happen. But we don't know when we, because we, really we, we have a lot of distance, stuff on schedule. Distance ourselves from the business aspect so Tino can give you more of the teaching. Yeah, but uh, I want to let you know that it is uh, part of Cindy's plan, uh, Dream Time Creation, the plan to put on Amazon. Just not right now, not yet. Eventually. I know, right? I feel bad for you guys on the duty. I hate that. I hate that a lot. Yeah, I, I will um I will tell Cindy I will remind Cindy so she don't forget. little Y right here too. Right now she looks like she woke up in Scarface's bed. Oh my god. <laughs> little milk right here. Okay. Don't blink. Especially the one that asks how to draw the moonlight shadow. Don't blink. If you blink it'll be gone. It will be gone forever. Don't you blink. Okay, this. And yes, we're absolutely always here to answer questions. Yes. Even if it's not about products. Yes. And just a little darkness right about here. Long face, a little darkness. What can we use instead of milk top coat? Oh, just take a clear coat and mix some white in. You have milk top coat, easy. Not uh, an exclusive product, just something nice to have. All right, let's do the moonlight shadows. Oh, wait. A little highlight right here, I forgot. <laughs> so now you're going to learn how to appreciate stained glass gel even more. Stained glass, stained glass gel is going to be your best friend this year. See how dramatic it is? Dark and light. She so looks like you have a bad tan. Remember that. A bad tan. Mm -hmm. Remember to give her a bad tan. Bad tan and a coat if, habit. If you, if you don't give her a bad tan, this wouldn't happen for you. You have to give her a bad tan. Remember that. Don't forget that. Remember, mom may have a bad tan. Mom may have a bad tan. Mm -hmm. See that? The line right here. I need to erase it. Here. Take stained glass gel and draw her, her eyebrow too because it's convenient. It's brown. The products are currently being shipped from the United States. Will there be a live tonight? No. Tomorrow at 11. Tomorrow at 11. 11 Central. Kia. All right. So, I need. Two color of stained glass. Number seven and eight. Seven and eight. Seven and 
Mm -hmm. If you want her to be under ocean. Okay, so put it out. This is seven, the lighter blue, and number eight, deeper blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a deep blue. Right on. Okay. And then brush over her. Brush over her. Okay, here. Beautiful, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. This is what I was about to say. And if you want her from a ratchet pond, use the green. <laughs> use the green of a ratchet pond. <laughs> what if they don't have stained glass on me? Uh, take Pikmin and mix with top coat, but it wouldn't be clear all the way. <clears throat> It'd be kind of Pikmin y. Pikmin -y. Yeah, it won't be clear the other way, but it that will do. That will hold you by temporary. Pacifier. Okay, here. And then time for the uh, lighter green. Light, lighter blue, I mean, sorry, not green, lighter blue. <laughs> yeah, the green can be the ugly stepsister. <laughs> Gosh, she is absolutely gorgeous. My favorite mermaid. What are the are the colors of stained glass that you use the most? Oh. Oh, boy. That's tough. No. I, that's the only one that I use everything. Uh, art gel, I use black and white the most, of course, among other colors. Uh, but no, stained glass gels, I use every single one. Um, The most important color, probably number 11, the black one. The black. If you have to choose one, choose black. But then you can use it for shadow. Um, so get the black stained glass gel and milk top coat. And then brown, number 12, also very important. Number 12 for brown, so black and brown. And then the rest, just pick uh, whatever you use the most. Uh, there's a Uh, can we mix gel polish, if desired, color and or base coat or top coat to get stained glass gel? You can. You can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can mix with pigment, you know, it's gel just to get a, like a, like a semi-transparent colors. Well, Jamie said hers is doing better. Versus elevated to swamp queen. Swamp queen. <laughs> uh, I mix queen with a little blue. Should I get kind of like an aqua color? Easy breezy, that's right. Okay, a little more adjustment right about here. I can't wait to get mad at it. Yeah. That's where everything always comes together. So oh, yeah. What, right. are, what are your favorite brushes you always go to? Uh, 10 millimeters. 
millimeter and ombre brush. Go to go to um the what I use the most. So you must be so tired now. No, actually, Pino feeds on no, this. No, right, right. Kill this. Okay, now I need red. Um, whatever shade you choose is up to you. Not you, hooker red. She deserves some hooker red on her uh, on her lips. So I'm taking my hooker red out and uh -huh, and then uh or home record red. Okay, so now put on her lips on for her. Now, I Deb was saying she'd ask the DM about, you know, what products to start with. Mm -hmm. That is truly a difficult yeah, question it's a difficult for us question. to answer because he knows built everything that he feels he needs, but you have to ask yourself first, what kind of artist do I want to be and, and what products do I feel I can easily use? All right. Here it is. Yeah, it's very hard to 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 know what product is good for you because I'm not um, I'm not just a certain kind of artist. I, I do everything. So, like, I'm not a line work artist, or I'm not like a character painting cartoon artist, or I'm not like an abstract artist. I target everything, so I have I have multiple direction with my products. You have to see what kind of artist you are uh, by watching live. Um, all my life, you're not gonna like all of it. Usually, uh, people have a certain style, a certain path that they're drawn into. So you just pick up any live that you want, and then uh, you will see underneath the caption. I write all the product there. That is how you navigate through your product. Okay, so I am getting either brown or blue. I'm getting uh, brown. And I am drawn right here, brown, just to make it darker because then when I draw the bottom lip red, you can see the distinct difference. So the bottom lip, brown, here. I should name it Hooker Red. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> they ask what Hooker Red is. It's a bright red. That you would see on the lips. <laughs> on the Lady of the Night. Not really street, street, street corner girl. Is it? Home red, red. Home red, red. When, when, home red, red. So icky. My glove is so icky. I have some gel on it somewhere. What is your thought on tomorrow design? I have no idea. Yeah. Don't tell me if you even had an idea. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take a little white, go in here. And uh, if you want, you can use a seven millimeter. I'm gonna use a seven millimeter for this. Seven millimeters and No, that wasn't a wrong question. That just means you're an innocent person in the world. And all the rest of us have gutter minds. I don't have a gutter mind. I have an innocent mind. Uh, how much would you charge for this one? Honey? Uh, 350. You know, I have seen you do so many amazing sides. But this here, I am speechless. Yeah, yeah. Here this. 
Thank you. Okay, take it out. With a little deep blue on about right here. You never know where Tino's inspiration is going to come. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know because he pulls it from life. But I assume because last night we had the calamari and the seafood and the shrimp that somehow that led to Ocean of Mermaid. All right. I hope so. <clears throat> Do you time yourself for sets like this, or does it take you however long it takes mm -mm. you? No, you always. Post. I don't by myself. Um, when I do nap on my client, it's always two and a half hour. I eat her about ten minutes early or behind, but always about two and a half hours. But that is when I plan it out everything plan out everything and I do it and I'm not very good at daddy I'm on a mission to finish it mm -hmm. so I, I when I do never plan I am aware of time I have a clock right in front of me no an alarm clock. Yeah. I, I'm not afraid of looking at the clock in front of my client I look right at the clock like, oh when I, especially when they become chatty then I look at the clock more Right. So they can shut up. Why squeezing their finger tighter and tighter. Yeah. Kill this. Okay, now I have to draw the red little nose. This is gonna be a challenge right here. This little red nose. That's cute though with all that freckles. I accept the challenge. <laughs> All right. Now I need. Uh, Tina, where'd you find the mermaid picture? Number five. Oh, I have this app. It's called Z. Uh, Z E D. G E Z. -H. But anyway, uh, it's a wallpaper app. A wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Can I make? It's on this one. Z. Z. No, it's not on this one. Okay, I know there's a bunch of questions I just missed. Because I'm working with one phone, I'm afraid if I scroll this one, we're gonna. Are you done with the picture of me? Yes, I'm, I'm done, I think. I don't need to really look at the nose. Hear this. <laughs> what design is my client ask for the most? My client don't ask for design. I design for my client. I know the style. They never know uh, what I'm gonna design on them. That probably part where I can control my time too, because they don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, when we finish, oh, the picture, they want to see the picture so they can screenshot the one that's on here. Okay. You what, want, what, yeah. What is moonlight effect? Moonlight effect is a cat eye that are titanium, that are platinum. Platinum, so you can add color, like stained glass color on. That's the only cat eye gel that I have. Because the rest of the cat eye, I have it in powder. That's Galaxy Chrome. So people can mix now. They can make it as strong as possible for their liking. So that was what Moonlight Effect is, is a, a platinum cat eye. Not too exclusive. It's quite common. <clears throat> Look at this. 
All right, we're ready to mat her. Do you want to, before the mat, um, pull up the picture and give her a chance to screenshot? Yes. So I don't lose my... I love my iPad, you guys. It's so cute. All right, screenshot. Hold on. All right. There go. Screenshot this. Look how beautiful she is. Sure, she yeah. is so beautiful. I love her. I love her. She's so beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. She is right? so beautiful. Okay, whatever I'm missing, whatever I'm missing. Seems like I have everything. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use Maddie to mat hers. She is Oh wait, before I'm mad it, I'm gonna sand it so I can chrome some of her hair. Ooh. Okay. So this, I'm gonna use chrome base to chrome this so I can I can add unicorn chrome and sum up her hair, make her even prettier. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, she's my best friend. <laughs> she's so pretty. Your best friend? She's my best friend. <laughs> I wanna hang out with her under the ocean. Oh, we can swim with fishes and go tease little merman. So I knew there was an ulterior motive. Oh, there have to be a merman somewhere. Gotta be a merman. In Tina World, there gotta be a merman somewhere. Couple. But I wonder if he a fish, then then where is the penis is? Is it like in the same place? If he a fish? I feel like. I mean, I guess it depends on where the midsection divides. I wonder what it looks like. Know. Or he just shoot and spun to, to the waters, and then the mermaid will just swim <laughs> in the plum. And then a rubber band. And then she get pregnant. I'm sure that's exactly how it is. Yeah, maybe he just he just shake out all the sperm, and it just flutter, scat, out, flutter out of the water, and the mermaid just swim in it. And all the sperms, he just tour around in it and then she get taken <laughs> so magical like a fairy tales okay now so that explains the white stuff in her hair i am going to get unicorn chrome pink unicorn chrome of course mm -hmm. a little bit on the hair so a little bit right here Oh my Are you going to do the freckles of fire? Oh, I forgot. I will. Now that I've stolen your picture. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fun. La 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 la. Oh, she prettiest. Oh, she's prettiest. Ah, uh, I am okay. Normally, I will put top coat on the chrome. So when I take as on and remove it, then whatever left that not top coat, the chrome will go away. But for this, I'm gonna do a little bit differently because I just have a little bit overlap. So I'm just gonna erase that. So I don't have to apply top coat. I can just take some Aston and just like erase a little chrome right here. See that? Easy. So you gotta know there's more than one way of doing things. Just because that's I'm doing things a certain way, that doesn't mean that it couldn't change to save time or to make it easier. Things can change. 
Oh my god, I want her to be my best friend so bad. She is so pretty. You know, and answer the other question, I guess we could watch mermaid porn and that should tell us everything, right? That is mermaid porn. I don't know, I'm assuming there should be everything else in the world. Like swimming in the bed? I don't know how it would go down. Honey. I should get stoned and then I just swim in the bed. I just would uh, like a towel. How's that going to happen? Swim. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Okay. So now I am going to put mat on her. Oh, what brush were you using? I'm using a uh, well, brush for what? I don't know. Oh, uh, Maybe the fluffy or... filler. filler. For, for erasing things, uh, you fill a brush. Fill a brush. Okay, so mat, everything. Oh, freckles, freckles. Shh. Forgot, forgot. Okay, cure this a little bit to cure the wet gel before we put on freckles. So for freckles, I'm just going to use some of these colors, some of the darker colors, like blue, brown, red, you know, for her freckle. So close my chrome, because I'm done with the chrome. Thank you for reminding us to turn the light on. Thank you. Oh, thank you, you guys. It's getting a little dark. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. So some freckles. I'm just going to use my imagination. Some brown. Are you red? Now you brown. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Thank you for reminding me about the freckles. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's my best friend. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Uh, the name of the app for the picture is Grid. Grid. And hashtag, G-R-I-D with a hashtag after it. And you're looking for a green icon. Yes. So top, put the pink uniform shade. Yes. You have to put the chrome base. Okay. Yeah. If you want to put chrome on, you have to put chrome base on or top coat on. Okay. Before I mat her, I'm going to look over any detail that I'm missing. I'm getting a five millimeter and a little white art gel and I'm adding just a thin highlight on the spine of her nose. Her lip, everything cover a little bit on her chin right here, just a little thin highlight. Okay. And a, a few strands of her hair. Okay, just very small. Don't don't go crazy on it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, the tripod, if you mean the phone phone stand, is from Canvas. C A N V A S. Yes, Canvas Shop. Canvas Shop. CanvasShop.co. Okay, love it on the reflection of her eye, the highlight for it. Just a tiny bit right here. Oh, beautiful. Gosh, beautiful. Kia. Oh, eyelash, please. Eyelash for her face. Gotta make sure she is right before we top coat her. I, I like her better than that peacock lady, that Mardi Gras lady. Remember I brought her? 
She looked like a transvestite because I didn't have grit. So now, thanks God I have grit for this because it's beautiful. Make sure your brush, the end of your brush doesn't have a lot of gels. You can fade this out for eyelash. We said all the mermen will definitely troll after her. Oh, yeah, she'll be a popular one. She'd be like a cheerleader mermaid. A cheerleader mermaid. Yeah. So. <laughs> I love you. All right. Then now, after I'm done, I have to write down the rest of the list that wasn't included. The rest of the list. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to top coat her. She's going to be the most beautiful mermaid. I have to add uh, texture for her. Well, we should not get the flower. What flower? No, no flower. No flower. No. You don't get a flower. No, it's in the ocean. No it's, flower. It's, it's wilt. Well, hello, Glam Goddess 444. Been forever. Hello, Glam Goddess. Oh, and Tanya's here, too. Hi, Tanya. Tanya, we apologize. We've not been doing evenings, but we will slide an evening in for Australia. I'm back on uh, one once a day, so what every we're, day. We're doing is the once a day thing. Once a day, every day. Well, most day, not every day. Kill this. Oh, come on! I want to see her. Let me see her. Let me take a sneak peek. <gasps> oh, 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 oh my God! So, I love her. I love her. She's so pretty. <sighs> Oh, come on, hurry up and kill already. Okay, now, take the gel, clear. I'm gonna return the shine on her. Oh, not take the gels. Maybe just um, shine it. Shine it on her hair. Oh, come on, hurry. How many seconds? Oh, 11 more seconds. I hate this. Oh, come yeah. on, I want to see her. A see whole her. 11 seconds. A whole 11 yeah. seconds. Come on. Mm -hmm. okay. <sighs> oh my gosh, she is so pretty. <sighs> oh, I want, um, I want Shandit on him. So I can add Shandit to her hair. Shine it to her. She's very beautiful. Thank you. And she underwater too. It's almost like the cotton candy mermaid, if that's even possible. Mm -hmm. Her hair is like seashell. Oh, thank you, boss. I mean, you're getting so many compliments and, and love things, I can't even read them. So just know it's happening and people love it. All right. Thank you. Okay, now. I'm going to write uh, extra ingredient on the list. Okay, let's see. Stained glass gel. Gel. It's in gel effect. And stained glass, could it have its own category? Okay, and then art gel is in gel uh, color, colors, and in art gel category. Mm, milk. 
is in tail effect and in milk magic top coat. Good milk is a top coat. I think I'm done. And flashlight. Flashlight is in a central category. All right, so that it. Take this out. <clears throat> and oh my God. You guys like it? Oh. Oh, it's like my fantasy. I need some crystal right here. Blue. Blue crystal. And that's it. That complete everything. Oh. oh she has a tails. I love her. Oh, you guys, she is so pretty. She my best friend. Wow. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you, Cassie, mom. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to write down this step. Just for this now and for this now. And think about the name for me, please. Think of a name for me. All right. So, um, put name right here. I'm going to write down this step. First is for the pinky, for this right here, pinky, finger, okay, now first step is top gel, top gel, cream nude, second is Pigment base, pigment base, V tips. Three is pigment, apply pigment. Four, chrome the tips. Oh no, uh, apply chrome base. Or on the whole nail. Five, apply chrome. Unicorn chrome, and it is pink. And then number six is matte everything. Matte it. On whole nail. And then seven is clear texture gel seashell pattern. Okay. Now, what is pigment base V tip? Like a V tip. See, this is a V tip. See, that's not a French tip. It's a V tip. It's a V French tip. Okay, now ring fingers. Ring finger. Okay. So ring finger is nude. Top gel. Cream nude. And then second is matted. Here for a second. A second. Very important. Now three, apply pigment. Four, continue curing. Curing. For fifty second, five 
continue curing for 50 seconds, apply pigment, continue curing for 50 seconds, and then shadow, paint, fish tail, silhouette. Six, apply chrome base on bye 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 nail by chase it will be on tomorrow Let see you tomorrow central. on whole nails seven is apply pink unicorn chrome Eight is apply sticky on fish tail silhouette and then here and the nine is remove excess chrome chrome with Aston. Number 10, mm. number 10 is a daisy, daisy stroke technique, daisy stroke, uh -huh. with clear texture, and white texture effect. And then 11 is apply chrome, apply unicorn chrome pink. Number 12 is matte everything, apply matte it, matte it. And then 13 is using clear texture gel for seashell pattern for embossed pattern okay that is the ring fingers so these are the steps first you can take the screenshot of the Step for the pinky. I'm going to hold it on for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 7, 8, 6, 5, 3, 4, 1, 2. What All right, it? now, ring fingers. I'll hold it up for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 6, 7, 4, 3, Two, one. Flip on the other side. I hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 8, 9, 6, 7, 4, 5, 1, 3, 2. All right. Now, let's see. I think we all just had a small insight to your that. I don't think any of us have ever counted down from 10 like that. What do you mean? Such a beautiful person. Okay, see this? So that is all the, oh, and um, how to navigate the website too. Side. <laughs> oh, and the name of the design, what is it? Does it say anything about the name? Uh, somebody had a really good name, Sexy Siren. Sexy Siren? Uh, There's a couple, but I don't know. Heart of the ocean. <clears throat> okay, so this is Heart of the Ocean. And this is all the lists that you can buy and navigate to your website. These are category from www.tinovo.shop. Let me write it into www 
tnovo dot shop. Right. The Lost Mermaid, Seas Goddess. <laughs> yeah, at least he's not skipping over. <laughs> All right. 10. Ooh, nine, Siren. Eight. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Six, seven, four, five, three, two, one. Moonlight the other becomes thing. you. Moonlight becomes you. Ooh, that's cute. That is cute. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, five, three, two, one. All right. Now let's take a look at. Oh my God, you are so beautiful. Oh, and she under the sea. I can tell. I can tell she under the sea because water. See, the, these effects I love because she look like she in the water, you guys. She is in the waters. She's not above the surface at all. Mm -mm. She's a reflection of the moonlight hitting her. Oh. Mm, so beautiful. So that is her. This is uh, uh, Heart of the Ocean. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Listen, can you declare me, please? Yeah. Uh, is it the... Bye-bye. Uh, Bye, tricolors. Uh, diffuse me. Bellissimo, gracia. Gracia, shuniness. Uh -huh. Or do you need the other one? Ah, uh, this is good. This is good. Let, let me see the... Uh, let me see the diffuse just to see if it have any differences. So far, so good. Thank you, Mama Vic. Thank you. Okay, ready? Oh, this is a mermaid. Oh, this is so cute. Yes. I love it. Ooh, I feel like a mermaid just by looking at this. Yes. I'm going to put on a mermaid tail and just swim around. Last week, we learned scale pattern. So it's like mermaid, but it's different. It's printed. It's line work. It's different. This is like character painting, drawing, fantasies. That's different. Uh, we gotta have one more at some point in the future. We gotta have one more. Tomorrow is dragon. <gasps> anyway. Tanya I, wants to know when we're gonna do a nightlife for Australia. A nightlife for Australia will be um, not this Sunday. So it has to be Saturday. Uh, I will be on Saturday morning and night. That Sunday, I have a date with my best friend, who is uh, not a mummy. Who is not a? She's not a mummy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but I'm in the process of making her into a mummy. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you, guys. Oh wait, wait. I I will show you. Uh, so if you don't have uh, chair that on uh, no why okay build a chair you have to put top coat on and then even with these chair if you want high class you also have to put top coat on um if it's just like this then that'll be just fine too okay it'd be completely dry but it'll fade faster like two weeks two weeks two and a half weeks it start fading a little bit um so you can have top coat on by taking some Aston and paper towels and you can drop it. Now, this one, it doesn't go down too much when I put Aston on it because I let it cool down. It have been, since, the, since when I cured it until now, it have time to cool down already. So, but if you first finish curing and you put Aston on it, it will be very dull. See, see, it's clear textures. Let's see. See, it doesn't go down too much because it's have like an hour or two to cook, to cool down. Bake. Mm -hmm. So it's still very, very shiny. 
However, so that is clear texture gel and 3D gel is at the same way. You let it cool down for about five, one minute or five minutes or whatever. You let it cool down so it's become like solid, um, like cement. When it's first here, it's still, you know, in the process. But you let it cool down, it will be completely solidified. Mm. This is how you push, uh, shine it on. So you take our brush and make sure you clean it well so it don't, it's not trippy. It's a top coat, but not trippy. Now, this, you lay flat, okay? You lay really flat, and then you just touch it lightly. Okay. That's where you only paint on the surface. You're not painting the whole thing. You just touch it and run. Touch See that? Just touch and run. So you just touch gently and just run lightly. That's it. Because the top, the, the brush has top coat. So you don't need to like submerge it. Just touch it. It's like people trying to clean up a mess, it'd be everywhere. Yeah. See that? That's what you do when you don't have no wipe gel. Here. See, I haven't even redipped my brush into the bottles. I still have my 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 brush is it still have uh it's still wet, you know. It's take a lot to dry a brush because you have to dry it on a paper towel. So it still have gels. I can just touch it. Just remember, you have to lay flat. Don't don't, don't point in your brush like this. Just lay flat and just run. That's it. So if you tell something, just lay flat. You don't need to cover everything with gel. You just need the top to be shiny so it can be like see-through. See it? See the top shiny. See? Very lightly dust. It lightly. And yes, Nora, you will save this later after he's done. Yes, after I'm done, I save it. Tomorrow I have another live at 11. Look at this. Okay. Oh, I'm done. We have no idea what we're doing. Yes. Maybe we have to influence something, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe. we don't know. Okay, everyone. Oh my God. Oh. Are you going to put crystals on crystal nail fairy? Oh, maybe just a little somewhere. You don't need crystal. This set, this set is me. Oh, crystal on the pinky and the index. Yeah. No, 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 not fairy. Not nail fairy today. She was asking if he was going to jump to the nail fairy page. Mm, not today. Not today. I feel like. I have to do video. I feel like I need to run to the basement and get out for me because you're on such a roll of getting things done. I'm going to disturb you. All right, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Angel Studio. Oh, let me read the question. Is there is a hair in the back of your head? Keep looking at it. Oh. Yeah, is, is it right here? Oh, oh, right. oh, my God. Thank you, Nora. I have not seen Thank any you. questions that we have not answered. Okay. Except for the big curiosity of what tomorrow may or may not bring. Mm. Yeah. Gotta be a surprise, you know. Every day gotta be a surprise. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, welcome, Joe now. I hope you guys have fun today. I have a lot of fun today. Again, tomorrow I do the same thing. I step into some easy breezy first and then I'm just gonna tack right at the end. So to escalate from easy money makers to like to the more are bad. you kidding me? Right. Yeah. We'll go from no problem to are you kidding me with this? Right. Yep. Seventy-five hours set four hundred. All of them still to the brush.
I have the coffin now on the seashell. It's very different. Most people only do it in Suleto's. Today I break the rule because I have um, I have clear texture gel. So I'm like whatever. Break the rule. I have all the power now with my clear texture gel. I'm confident on any surface because yeah. I have control of it. Look how fine it is. It doesn't ruin the shape at all. Even if it's poking out from the side, it's all even. See that? Beautiful. 3D jelly is uh, is what I used before, and uh, absolutely I find this easier to maneuver for this design right here where all the line is close together. Thank you, Karen. You have a wonderful day as well. Bye bye, Karen. Have a good day. I will see you tomorrow, Karen. Hope today she feel better. A little bit anyway, at least a little bit better. Oh, oh my lord, it is either gonna be viral or not because because people are gonna be like, Oh my god, what a beautiful painting! or they're gonna be like, Oh, that's cool stickers. You know what I mean? So it's a hit or miss because sometimes when it's too beautiful, then it might not be popular because people think that it's thicker or decal or whatever. So, thank you. Thank you, Heaven Michelle. Hello, oh, hi, Mo. keeps mentioning spring, but I keep ignoring that because I've been pushing for chili all morning long because it's cold outside. Spring? Not yet. Not yet. We haven't yet to we Easter have, yet. Like, March is not really spring to me. Mo on design wise. March is a green month. So I need to get everything green out of my system. Anything that I wear any month after that, like April or in the summer, you know, like a like a dragon might be real. Like why? Why a dragon now? So March is a time when I'm not ready for all the summer design yet, but I get all the green, all the fantasy, all the blue, and the ocean, all of that out of my system. All the fairy fantasy design all out. So I can focus on more floral and more, you know, spring and summer like design. So that what I'm doing this week is I get under ocean out of my system. Mm, tomorrow I'm thinking about dragon or fairy. You don't know yet. Mm, fairy, I have to do another set that are fairy. Probably the same concept with this, but butterfly wings on each side. I may do that. Oh my God, this is so pretty. <laughs> really? What I know is it will all depend on whatever happens today that jumps out at you. You say, oh my God, that's beautiful. And then somehow that will turn into a design. Yeah. I either use opal or blue. It would be a little matchy, matchy. Blue, opal, or arum is gold. Solid gold. I <laughs> like you white opal. Yes, I, I have my Michelle. I sh I save every life, every one of my life. I save it. That right. Mm -hmm. On Tino shop, uh, remember there is two different account on here. One is Votino, one is Tino Voda shop. Uh, the one that I save life in is Tino Voda shop. I save every one of my life on there. Thank you, Rita. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Let me see. All right, everything answers. No, oh, gracias. Velasquez, gracias. Okay. okay. All right, everyone. I'm gonna be up now so I can do video. Bye bye, everyone. Within five minutes, you'll be able to view this. I will take all the, I will list all the product underneath caption. Are you saying more on YouTube? Yes, I just posted on YouTube uh, this morning. I posted uh, yesterday live on Galaxy. I posted this this morning. I, and I'm going to post this too, probably tonight. Storm from X-Men will be sick. Oh, ooh. Yeah. I don't know when though, because I want to follow the season. Storm is like comic books. I don't know. Because we're in the season of green? I don't know. Because I want to do one uh, desert sunset or uh, desert lining. Or some, like that feel. 
like desert west and lightning or cactus oh, lighting weird because sunset about eagles thinking about what spurs for some reason i think about cowboy boot and spurs well but not western team not a western team i want to do desert sunset like yeah, vibrant it's... lightning hmm. wildness this is, why, this is why I go to the basement and distract myself. Have a good day, Kikaro. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, scorpion. Damn it. I forgot for Valentine. Oh, I have a beautiful scorpion design stab in a red heart. Oh, next year. Could it be stabbing a um, I'm going to do a scorpion probably in this color too. Purple, a majestic color. Versus Isn't that Samila? Samila says she loves to watch me on YouTube, on the big screen. Mm -hmm. oh, um, before we do in one screen, I turn in it in landscape mode so it can fit the TV. But now two uh, double screens back on, so I'm in portrait mode. Thank you, thank you, Mokulam. Thank you. All right, all right. I am out of here. Bye bye, everyone. I will see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Time on 